As Kansas City leaders search for ways to pay for a proposed downtown streetcar, a tech guy had an idea for raising money over the internet from people who don't even live here, possibly saving money for taxpayers. Chris Hernandez just talked to that guy about how it'll work. Hey, Chris. Hi, Elizabeth. You may have heard of Kickstarter. It's a place on the web where you can go and donate money to help launch a band or help finance an independent movie or something like that. Well, a tech guy who has an office right here in the Crossroads, he's taking that concept and now applying it to a public works project, the proposed Kansas City streetcar. It's called crowdsourcing or crowdfunding when you ask strangers to donate to a cause. When you pay your taxes, do you get something like a t-shirt? Jace Wilson came home from a streetcar meeting frustrated that so many people were so upset about the $100 million cost. Then he saw that a watchmaking company raised big money on Kickstarter. Their record was shattered by uh, Pebble Watch, which brought in $10 million. Wilson runs Luminopolis, and his tech company came up with what they call Neighborly. It's a web app that can collect money from corporations who want to advertise on the streetcars and from normal folks who want to support the system. He sees a market in former Kansas Cityans. And one guy is living in St. Louis. He's from the Northland, but he says on Twitter, he loves transit and he loves KC and he's going to pledge $100. The proposed streetcar system would run two miles from the River Market to Union Station. Property and sales taxes could go up to pay for it. There still needs to be a vote to approve those higher taxes, but Wilson and city leaders hope that if enough people donate through Neighborly, the proposed tax hike wouldn't be so high. So even though it's not going to raise $100 million, if we can raise some money that the business owner or taxpayer doesn't have to pay, that's to the good. Wilson's team is helping the city decide what perks people will get for donating, and they plan to launch Neighborly during the All-Star Weekend in July. Now, when you talk about money for the streetcar system, the real important thing is this $25 million grant from the federal government that the city has applied for. Uh, they are expecting to hear an answer from Washington any day now. They are anxiously awaiting that. Reporting live in the Crossroads, Chris Hernandez, 41 Action News.